so much for having me at this press conference yes i did clear off my debt before a year and it was more than 300 more than 400 more than 500 thousand i did that in coming to japan but no comment on that today i don't want to talk about that today maybe if this video gets like a good traction and people show me that they want to know more about that probably a hundred likes or something i will do that video but today i'm gonna share with you some lessons that i learned from one of the richest countries in the world <laughs> I asked some of the citizens what are their money saving and budgeting tips and things like that. So that's what I want to talk about today. Thank you so much. Welcome to the office and thank you for joining me. What some of the citizens say about their long life thinking about budgeting and saving. You want to talk about something that has completely become something nobody talks about, nobody talks about saving money. Like, it's just not a conversation. Like, there's a very easy way to do this. If you make 49,000 a year, live as if you're making 27. Everybody lives over what they make. No wonder you can't save money. Your apartment's too nice. Of course you can't save money. Your car is too fancy. Of course you can't save. You're buying clothes you can't afford. history of Japan's wealth and how it is that they bounced back from the world war. Japan's economic growth was fueled in part by the country's highly successful car and consumer manufacturing industries, which makes it one of the most innovative countries in the entire world. It is the third largest in the world by nominal GDP, the fourth largest by purchasing power, the fourth wealthiest country in Asia, doesn't have many resources, second largest developed country, they have to import raw materials. Between the 1960s to 80s, Japan achieved one of the highest economic growth rates in the world. Following World War II, Japan underwent a period of rapid economic expansion which led to high incomes that the citizens enjoy today. I must add that they work hard, they do work a lot and they have a lot of discipline which is very important for any economic growth in any society. And finally, I'm going to take you through a step-by-step -step tutorial of the Kakeibo. Kakeibo, what's that? Stick around and you will find out. It is like a century-old secret that is still being used in Japan, even with the invention of technology. I bought a kakebo. This is like a budgeting book. I know that it looks a bit confusing with the Japanese writing and all of that. So I got you. There is a website. I'm gonna let leave the link below where I printed this for free, and it's very very simple. So you have a monthly income, source amount, total. This is the month that you're talking about. Then monthly fixed expenses bill amount on savings goal how much do you want to save this month what are you saving for continuous spending money 
how much money do you have to spend this month so income minus expenses minus saving goal you see in everything you put the savings in equals spending money this month how much spending money do you have per week so it gives you a breakdown. spending goals what are your goals for the month and what will you achieve how will you achieve i had to translate these so at the top here it's 2021 it says annual payment plan for my home this is a month content expected income remarks and then they have different categories so tax and under tax automobile tax property tax residence tax in japan you pay a lot of tax but at least you see where it's going so anyway i'm not gonna stress on that next is loan housing car education loan and then insurance fire insurance non-life insurance life insurance health insurance long-term care insurance and then pension and others nhk reception fee and newspaper fee over on this side year month schedule expense expected expense required savings amount and savings plan so this is a home life plan and it says let's set a guideline for spending in the near future think of this for a moment all that's required to put the science of getting rich to work in your life is a decision now do you know most people will look at that and they'll say there's got to be more to it than that how many of you have been trying to earn a lot of money for quite a long time how many have difficulty yet you know one percent of the population earn about 95 or 96 percent of all the money that's being earned and it's a subject that is not taught in school